In this video we look at how to add the mortar hatch to our brick component. Uh, you saw in the previous video how we took one of uh, the standard brick families and edited the line weights uh, to look like the, the one below here. But I went one step further on this one and I added the, the mortar hatch. So I'll just take you through that quickly. This is the standard brick. This is the uh, metric brick section modular 10 millimeter so if we double click on that we go to their uh, their individual family drawing and we can edit this we'll go through all of the aspects again uh, you've seen this on the previous video but if we highlight this we're going to edit the boundary and I know we're, you've seen all this before we take the boundary and change it to a medium line weight Say okay now it sounds that simple but uh, when to do this one, to edit this one, uh, it's got a masked region in it and in order to get my hatch to apply what I did was I went through and created a new filled region and I made it, uh, I didn't have sand loaded, uh, uh, I want a dot hatch so I'm just going to use gypsum. So I'm going to use the dot hatch and, and I'm going to set my boundary to be medium line weight so it shows it the proper weight and I'm simply going to trace what they've got first. So I do a line, then an arc, just very quickly get trace that back to line. I could mirror this, but I think it's just as fast to draw it in. And set the arc. And that's it. So now I've got a boundary with the dot hatch and uh, it's done in the proper line weight. So I'm going to check yes, that's done. So that's going to show up. But what I've found is there mortar boundary was masking mine so to combat that I'm going to simply move mine out of the way for a moment and then I'm going to take theirs and just delete it and then move mine back so I've gotten rid of any masking properties that may have been there uh, and so I'm going to put that back okay so now I've got my brick with the controlled line weights on the perimeter controlled line weights on the mortar and a dot hatch and I'm just say uh, OK to that and uh, load into project and close. So when I do that, do I want to save? I would say yes, but as in the previous video, I've already got it built. You would rename it to what you want it to be, some code that shows that you've edited this, and save. Okay, I'm not going to do that here because I've already got mine created, so I'm going to just simply cancel out. And I'm not going to save. You, of course, would save all that and then yours would look like this and so you can see when we use it in the multiple components we've got the proper line weights and proper hatching all done together. 